Bank Cougar Coaches Show on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. U.S. Bank. Life keeps moving. We're here for every step. U.S. Bank. Member FDIC. Tonight's show is also brought to you by Zeppos, the home for the Cougar Coaches Show, where the Palouse comes to play and eat. Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. Proud partner of Washington State Athletics. And by Redbox, the official at-home movie partner of the Pac-12. Visit Redbox.com now for new movies movies and thousands more now let's talk washington state basketball live from zeppos with cougar head coach kyle smith here's the voice of the cougs matt chesanow it is so great to be with you we're here live we've got zeppos we've got folks in attendance coach smith it's time to talk ball on a big week coach you got the bay area schools coming in and the pac-12 just got rattled the country (laughs) the country just got rattled because your opponent, our opponent, yep. coming up this week, Stanford, which is a game that was rescheduled or, or moved to oh, nice. Thursday at 2 p.m. They just beat USC. USC was one of two remaining unbeaten teams in America. They just beat them by six points today. That just happened. It didn't surprise me. Pac-12 is really good. Just going off last year, and obviously I'm sure a lot of people saw us play USC a few weeks ago and had it down. We just could have got a stop there. We might have We might have been the first to do that. So no surprise to me. Um, also, I've been watching a lot of Stanford film. They're pretty talented and big and really good rebounding team, and we got our hands full. Stanford's been doing this thing every year, and we'll get into uh, – I want to recap the week. I want to talk the, about the year a little bit. You and I haven't had a chance to have yeah. a little more time sure, than, sure, than, sure. than three, four You minutes. took a little vacation. What uh, were you up to? It was a little involuntary – Oh, little, it was involuntary in, vacation. involuntary stop last week. A little, <laughs> a little pause, and it's very it's always very weird to – to either see or hear the Cougs and not be with them. Oh. It's a very, very strange feeling. But a huge I, I, You're familiar with the Wally Pipp story, right? Yeah, well, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm I, Dice, now. you did get that. Get, <laughs> did, Wally got back in the lineup somehow. I Dice was it. dominant. Yeah, well, he Dice got, is good, man. He, he, I'm telling you. He did something. You ever seen Dice do his job? Yeah, he's, he's good. He's, he's, he's good, he, He's great. He's great. He's great. It's great to be back. And I'll tell you, he did something that hadn't been done since 1946. <laughs> exactly. So, you are definitely in yeah, jeopardy. Credit to him. Credit to him. No, thanks to Derek. And, and we really appreciate him dropping everything. And, and I'll it, talk to Ann about getting that next next year the mountain trip. You you might want to think about. <laughs> Dice is going to go back. To yeah, you time. might want to think about something else. <laughs> we'll both that, that we'll, we'll, do, we'll duel it out. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say something. All right, and, go and ahead. I don't, don't let me interrupt. I don't even remember. I don't, don't even, let me interrupt. Uh, uh, well, let's let's recap. Let's recap a little bit. Dice and I had a nice blow. Oh, that's good. That's I mean, good. We, that's I just great. just know that it was just kind of it's kind of just. Yeah, 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 just real easy yeah, rapport. Real easy. That's great. That's great. We, we'll give him a call into the show, maybe. We yeah, yeah I expect him yeah. to be. That's good. That's good. Do I all have to do? <laughs> the bullpen. Get what? him warmed up. He might be a lefty. Oh, is he, he a lefty? He might be a lefty. Get the lefty up in the bullpen. Might Dice is ready. I think he might be. Uh, 77-61 at Utah. Yeah. Big big, big wins. Uh, tight one in bowl. Yeah, 100%. 77-61. Two and two in the league. Yeah. You go to Salt Lake City and you play this this complete game. You finished. You finished late. You know, and you, and Utah has been an impossible place for teams to go win, and and you you win by fifteen points there, sixteen points there, and boy, that must have felt so good. Uh, they all do. There's no such thing as a bad win or ugly win. People say that I cringe, um, but uh, no, we played really well. Uh, really, it's good for our team. I mean, we've been. Struggling a little bit to, to finish games. Obviously, we haven't been good in close games, and we've had a lot of we've had some teams that we've blown out a little bit, and we've been able to separate. So it's nice to have that ability. And now let's let's see if we can, you know, I think we'll I think we'll come together a little better, and the more confidence we get from wins like that. What, what is it about certain teams that may have a strength of closing? Right, C- certain teams are good at that. Certain teams maybe struggle with that. What, what do you think is the anatomy of, uh, of a team that is, is... The analytics guys, you know what they think? What do they think? It's random. Is that right? They do, but I don't think they're right on that, to be honest. You think it's so, all... No, I think experience matters. Uh, getting situations like that. Well, we, you know, for us, I think having really Ty and uh, Mike, kind of a new backcourt. Uh, Ty didn't play last year. We get hit with the flu bug and then COVID. Um but I think we're trying to we're starting to gel there, and we didn't have Noah, and we're getting back there. But when those three guys have been together, we've been pretty good. But even sorting out late game situations, I think anyone's watched us, we haven't quite confident in like who should be um, kind of who's the alpha in that situation, who should be ma- making the plays, and and part of it is we haven't delivered offensively on that. Um, but that can happen; those are happening. But I, I'm a little more where we can get better is getting some defensive stops. So we need to like SC, we get one stop, we we get that win. 
Colorado. We're a three-point game with 40 seconds. We blow the coverage there. And it's a defensive miscue um, with, uh, you know, on the switch and that. So it's like, eh. And everyone's watching what you do on the offensive end and how you execute and this and that. We've, we've executed some things really well and haven't made shots, haven't made the shot. But as a coach, you're just happy we get the shot. But, like, on the defensive end, getting a, securing a rebound, getting a stop, which is, I mean, I think we're 28th overall defensively. Hmm. Um, and, and the Ken Palm, which we really know, good gospel, but uh, yeah. <laughs> we're good defensively, but you know, haven't had those key stops. So we work on it every day. We did our situations today at practice, and we were up one nine seconds with the ball, and they're pressing us, and we lost. So, mm. so <laughs> we're, we're trying, man. We're trying. We're That's working at it. We're working at it. It happens. It's like, and we want to build some confidence, but you know, we got to get in those situations, talk about it. We played it right, and we got beat. The you know, Miles Rice made a big shot. It's interesting that the analytics say it's random in that if you look at, like, South Dakota State or, you know, New Mexico State, yeah. right, it's a little hard to see the game because, you know, people talk and they're wondering what and how do you t- what do you tinker with and what do you do. It's like, well, f- first of all, th- the other thing about this, and I'm curious, there's 39 and a half minutes before that yeah. in a, which a lot goes on, right? Yeah. You're down 10 twice to, South, to SDSU, yeah. come back, frankly – Half the team's out because yeah. they're not yeah. right. So and so right. SDSU is really good. Maybe the nation's best shooting team. Yeah. Debatable. They, they really might be. And and so you you're right in there. But there's all this other stuff going on before it. It's just hard to to say. Well, this lefty who, by the way, he's really good. He by you know he broke Scott Frost's high school football records. That's, doesn't surprise. He's a quarterback, but, I assume. Play, he's such a good passer. And, and he broke his high school. Uh, uh, all, all the state records, you know, yeah. and decided to play basketball. Instead, really interesting-looking player and really effective. Yeah. He hits this late three, and it's like, you know, it's hard just to focus on that one possession. right? I mean, is, that, is that a fair way to look I forgot at? about that defensive issue. <laughs> that was another stop we needed. Uh, yeah, it's a little unfair. I mean, they made a good play. Normally, we'd, I even remember that one. Normally, we'd take a timeout there. We thought they would. They kept it alive, and they got the matchup they liked. And, you know, I don't usually think that's the best – Way to win, but they have their best player with the ball. Might and, be the best player in that league. For sure. And uh, their best player with the ball, the matchup they let Andre wasn't ideal. We, you know, we, we thought they would use a ball screen. We're going to switch it, and they didn't. And then Andre slipped on slipped. it. Slipped. He's not our best defender. Yeah, but, but he slipped. It's, he really it's did. It's hard to, you know, it's really, literally a wet spot there. So I saw that. I saw, if you look back at the replay, that crossover, he's not that good. That cro- he's no, at, but that the time, crossover I, at the time, I thought the crossover was pretty impressive. Yeah, and, and I looked, looked right, back. I was like, wait, yeah. he slipped. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway. Yeah, that was a tough one. And, you know, tell you what, and I'm not trying to just focus on all these, but I wanted yeah. to – wanted God, to, do your job. I, I thought – I honest, honestly, I think that's New Mexico State's best team that I've seen in the last few years. They win the whack almost every year. Yep. Teddy Allen's phenomenal. Yep. You know, the way he came down the lane and dunked that ball, yeah, that's, he's special. He's a good player. And – they're full of pack transfers. Donnie Tillman didn't play. That's a pack team. Oh, yeah, yeah. That New Mexico oh, State, and, and actually the preseason publication I looked at, that has them in the Sweet 16. It says they yeah. think they're going to the second weekend. I thought, boy, that's a – Nah, just, we up, we're up. They're really – Let's not talk about how we're – that one we're yeah, – yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can we get on to something right, else? Right, let's man? Go we won on. our let's last game. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> one by 16. One by 16. You're yeah. actually you're, – you're, you're nine and six now, two and two in the league with a big week here. You got Stanford yep. – and then the surprise of the pack this year could be Cal. Yeah. They re- it really could be Cal. They were, they were struggling last year. They've struggled the last couple of years. A lot of the same personnel, nope. a lot of the same guys, Andre Kelly, Granite Tisevich, and, they're, and they're, they are – well, I don't want to blow a trivia question. So, All but, right. but they're And, by the way, world-class trivia is back. Trivia Good. is back. We're going to hit trivia back. Um, I'm and, gonna better get, I got to check the soup chip. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, they yeah. Well, are they going to integrate into this at all? I, I've been – I mean, I – I thought you quit. All right. Well, <laughs> I, I take a week off. I take a week off. I was a little confused. For, for, those, for those who may not recall, or just as a refresher, we do a trivia segment with Kyle. He, he's, he bats like 50, 500. You know, he does, per, does pretty well, maybe 7, 750, depending. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, depending. And, uh, and, of course, everybody's encouraged. There's absolutely nothing on the line except for a, a, a huge amount of pride. And Kyle has a, a, a chat with the old college buddies. Yeah. And sometimes they get in the mix as well. Yeah, so we, seven guys that talk about soup. I, I love it. So there could be <laughs> some soup questions. I love it. I love it. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back. We're live here at Zeppos. Just got a bunch of house cleaning out of the way. We'll get into it next. Talking ball here with Kyle Smith. That to-do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. It's an easy thing to do. 
Just crack open an ice cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2020 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Which would you rather be? An armchair quarterback? Or an on the edge of your cushy leather seat chair quarterback? Turf Club Sportsbook is now open at Northern Quest. With the most modern, luxurious, and exciting sports wagering experience around. So you can bet, watch, and win like never before. Right here in the heart of the action. Turf Club Sportsbook, the ultimate game changer. Now open at Northern Quest. You're listening to Cougar Basketball. The two-handed skyscraper jam. Shot is up and in. And the foul. On the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. It's a new season. Get ready for more men's and women's college sports excellence. Trophies will be awarded in June to schools who take the top spot in the 2021-22 Learfield Directors Cup. The premier award recognizes one winning institution in all competitive divisions. Follow your favorite team's progress as seasonal standings are announced at L Directors Cup on Twitter and online at directorscup.org. The crowning achievement in college athletics. This is Cougar Basketball. Righty layup and the foul for Tyrell Roberts. Williams to the right bucket with a two-handed dunk. Join us all season as Kyle Smith and the Cougs look to make some noise in the Pac-12 and beyond. Rises up, rejected by Bamba. Flowers in the corner, triggers the three on the break. Bullseye! Down low gate, turn around and a hammer. It's only on your home for Cougar Basketball. The Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. This is the U.S. Bank Cougar Coaches Show on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Put your trust in a bank that's been focused on serving the people and businesses in Washington and all across the country since 1863. That's U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. With Coach Smith, here's Matt Chazanow. Back at it live, we're talking ball here with Coach Smith. We are at Zeppos. Great crowd. Great to see everybody. Great to talk ball here. It, 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 with everybody, with our people here, we're back in. No, it's it, great. It is great. It's great. Fantastic. Earn your bragging rights at Northern Quest with more slot machines, table games, restaurants, lounges, and luxury hotel rooms than anyone else in the region. Plus, Turf Club Sportsbook is now open. Oh. Just so you know. Northern Quest, yes, the best. More at northernquest.com. Not for you, depending on the sport coach. Well, Turf Club would imply it's horse racing, and that's perfectly legal. Uh, I think that's a football turf. Darn it. I, think, I knew I did, I it's not a big horse racing country. It, you know, it could be, though. Actually, a turf I, club normally is. It's a good point, so I, I might be wrong on that. Maybe it is. Is, is it? Have, we, have you been there? Have we, we've got a gentleman. It, but he's right about it. He's saying the turf club is, is, is horse racing. Maybe it is horse racing. I, what, why not? Exactly. You're probably, you're probably I know right. what I can gamble on. You're probably right. Horse <laughs> racing, I can do. There you go. Do you do the – Does it? You, like there's the, this TV's – TVG? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. You don't know anything about Aren't you from Jersey? Yeah, I, there's harness track right there. I never, I never know harness, anything about it. You don't really do the harness. I don't thing. know. I don't Monmouth? Know. You never went down to Monmouth Park? I mean, I know it, but I never went. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I don't know. You want to? We should. You got to take me. I don't know about you. I don't, I don't, know, I don't, know, I don't, I don't know what to do. All right, we'll take you to Del Mar one day. See, I know, I've heard yeah. of all this. Yeah, it's but nice. It's, I don't even, yeah, it's a thing. All right, yeah. so we're talking, we're talking ball here. We're talking all kinds of things with Coach Smith, as always. Stanford comes up. Uh, now, I want to be clear here. Thursday, 2 p.m. tip. Yes. It was supposed to be tomorrow a, night. A, a tomorrow night game, but they had to reschedule it because Stanford had to play today against USC. So this is going to happen now throughout the rest of the year because of cancellations. Teams are getting the domino effects of teams having to reschedule games. So Stanford – now, I don't know why 2 p.m., but it is uh, I, I don't know either, but I'm yeah. just happy if, if and when they make it. Great to play. I mean, yeah. UW, UW yeah. didn't quite make it over here. It didn't quite happen, so we're, we're – we're, Pullman, they try to pull the plug on uh, you. The, speaking of which, how does it work rescheduling? How do we get a UW date? What, is, what happens there? Is that a league thing? Is that a Mike Hopkins I, I, thing? I, no, I think it's a league has to do it. And, uh, you know, I've been pushing them pretty hard on make sure we get that home game. Yeah. It, it makes sense. We have that open week. We play them on Saturday in Seattle. 
So you'd assume maybe we'd come out. They'd come out here Wednesday, but they might. I think they worry about keeping the early week in case they have to make up. So at worst, like Thursday, we play them here, then go over there and play on Saturday. And I just want a date so we can get all these people, make sure they lock it in, lock and, it in, and then uh, that'd be fun. Get a crowd. That would be that'd be great. That'd be and that'd be fun to do. Not, I mean, I'm not holding anyone accountable. We can't make it two o'clock <laughs> Thursday, but most most I know most everyone here is working at home. Don't lie to me. You know, so I say expect you to be there at two o'clock. Laptops out. Yeah, laptops out. They yeah. don't need to know where you're at. Yeah, so it's yeah. Br- bring your work to the game. Yes, then. yes, yeah. yes. Uh, be fun if it was a husky husky home home week. Right, that'd be fun. But it needs to be or whatever. We just yeah. get it in. I'm just worried they'll put it like Monday before the conference tournament or something. Right. Like, uh, no, well, like the Arizona State thing last year. Yeah, yeah. That was a little dicey yeah, that too. Was a little, both in Tempe. We almost played them three straight almost, times. Yeah, yeah, good. yeah. Four wouldn't four straight. Would four straight. Yeah. yeah, yeah, four straight. Yeah, very strange. We settled it earlier this year. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's yeah. true. That was a. That was a. Let's. We haven't. Were talked. you there for that one? I was there. No, thank you, good. Coach. Yeah. It's thank good. you. I, wouldn't, I don't remember. I, you got to credit me for that one. Yeah. You, you give. I mean, Dice gets Salt Lake yeah, City right. credit. Then I, I'm you playing did. defense in Tempe. You did. You did. Thank you. you, thank you. Did. Thank, yeah. Did yeah. Well. Put a lid on. You're there. allowed to go that trip. Next thank you very much. You're, you're <laughs> thank you. I'll take it. Twenty nine points, by the way. Fifty one twenty nine at Arizona State. Yeah. We up? talked a little bit about that. Uh, 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 pre-game, the next game, that was uh, the USC game. Yep. Um, I called it a Jackson Pollock. I feel really good about that. I thought it was beautiful. There you go. Thing of beauty. Good, good. Because I'm not a modern artist guy. Like, that stuff sure. looks like I don't get it. Looks it. like something Rocco or Bo could slap together <laughs> Jackson Pollock. So I yeah. thought you were saying it was ugly. No, I thought oh, it okay, was. Uh, listen, if it tw- you hold the team to 29 nice. points. It's, it's, you li- and then the next game, they beat Creighton. Right? Like the day. Oregon. They beat or- they went they, Oregon and Creighton. They beat Oregon and then they went to Cre- Creighton. They won in Omaha. Unbelievable. They won- They go to Creighton. Creighton's one of the top teams of the Big East at the time. Oh, no, I know. And I think uh, you know, credit Bobby Hurley will schedule. You know, he will. Yeah, they will yeah, schedule yeah. games. There's no doubt. And they play. They beat the Ducks. And I think that was in Eugene. I think they. Yes, I think they, was. they won in Eugene. No, they, they, so look, 51-29. It was unconventional, but it was awesome. Yeah. I mean, just we're a funny team. Phenomenal. We can, we can score ninety. Or we can. Score fifty. What is? What, what do you make of that? What is, uh, it's personnel driven, to be uh-huh. honest. Like we can put out a really big defensive lineup that um, will slow the pace of the game, or just not, it just won't, not as fluid with the ball and stuff like that. Won't shoot as many threes. Won't, won't get the same spacing, um, but still effective offensively. But then just we can certain way, certain lineups we can really defend the rim and get on the glass and make it really hard to score on us. Does it? Is that a higher burden? Coaching wise, than typical in that you've got these, you know, there's a wide gap there in style. Right? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, we kind of have two different teams. We got our our slow, skillful team that can score, and then we got our athletic, defensive team that can guard you. Yeah, and it's like trying to find the the right blend that uh, puts the best team together. But uh, in some it's who you're playing against, and uh, like Utah, they pack it in a little bit defensively, and they run you off the three, and we were able to spread them out and got the pick and roll going because we were. I think because Andre and DJ were out there a lot and spread it out a little bit. I don't know, it worked. Yeah, you had like five straight possessions where Muhammad Gay had dunks yeah, in the great. first half there. And they, yeah. didn't, they didn't have Carlson. They're, they're big guys. So, well, they, I mean, You're good at it. Come on. I'm <laughs> just saying. And, but they play, you know, and so yeah. you took advantage of it, right? Yes, I mean, exactly. Yeah, did, did a really good job uh, get, getting to the rim there. And um, Muhammad played a phenomenal first half. He did. He played well the whole game. We yeah. just FA played really well second half, and and uh, just again we were playing a little s- smaller, and it made sense for us. And uh, sometimes that happens. But he, it's excited for Muhammad. He's been practicing really well, so it's he didn't play great against Colorado. Nice, he had a good bounce back, and um, you know future's bright for him. But there's there's some growing pains and process to get him going. How difficult is a player like Batty for a guy like Muhammad Gay figuring out? Because Batty's so big, you just don't see a lot of guys like that in I high don't school. Know. Or I'm just, I'm just I did, Batty was two for eight against someone the other day, and I was yeah. like, how'd that happen? Yeah. Who'd they just play? I don't know. Was it U Dub? Yeah, yeah. It was two for yeah. eight against U Dub. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> he, he kind of owns us a little bit. But we got to get, we'll get him back. Good player, really. Yeah, good player. he's good. He's smart. Yeah. People, everyone talks about how big he is. He's just a, he's a really smart basketball player. You had 25 points from Tyrell in Boulder. Yes. Uh, um, uh, he was 9 for 20, really good. That's 50% shooting. Yes. He was uh, perfect from the free throw line, predictable. Oh. Uh, really good free throw shooter. 25 is big. 20, not a lot of guys go for 25 on the road in Boulder. Yep. Uh, I mean, that, that he started out as a leading scorer. Feels like he's kind of back. He, he was a little bit under the weather. He got a little I'm bit banged up. You, he, I think, yeah, he was really out of it for a little bit. Probably shouldn't have played him against South Dakota State. Um, 
And he, you know what? Part of the going, like I said, he didn't play last year, and, and there's going to be a little growing pains at and getting used to the scout. But uh, you can see where he can be kind of explosive as a scorer, obviously. Mm-hmm. And uh, shoot it off. That in our, he's been our biggest analytic plus minus guy. Is that right? Yep. And I don't know necessarily. Well, he, you know, it's funny. He's small, but he guards really well. As far as like position, help defender. He's quick. He pressures the ball. Because um, usually little guys, you're like, hey, we're giving up something defensively, but he, he hasn't been. Hmm. And then I think, even though he hasn't shot the ball as well as I think he can, or, you know, I think he'll, it's like, relax. You, you shoot the ball the way you're capable. We're gonna, we are going to separate from teams. So I just think he gets rid of it so quickly, you're playing four on four with the other guys and just puts a lot of pressure on the defense. So whatever it is, the numbers, he's played a lot of possessions now that we're just clearly been better when he's in the game. He was really good. I mean, he, he, he kept you in it. You didn't have Noah for that ball no. game in Boulder. Noah clearly made a difference in Salt Lake City. He was remarkable, I mean, uh, he, actually. He, 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 was, he was... I really went in the game thinking we weren't going to play him. Is that right? I mean, I was like, I'll probably give it a roll. And he was gamey, man. If anyone can, you know, he had one practice since December 22nd. And if there's one guy that can go in there and make an impact like that, it's him. It could have gone either way with him. It could have been minus 25 was on the floor or plus 25. Uh, and he really made – he did a great job. It's plus minus was plus, plus 25. 25. <laughs> yeah. 25. In his previous games, he'd been in a little bit of a rut too. and uh, so That's dominating. Yeah, that no, no, no. That means when you're was, in the game, you are dominating. Yeah, he was, he was that. And like I said, when – those three guards, and it feels like we're really small with Mike, Ty, and Noah on the perimeter, but they've been really good together. So, and then you know TJ's done a nice job too. But those three have been um, been good, good for us. They're quick. Like I said, they're quick. They're hard to guard, um, and I think they guard guard really well. When Noah's in the game. Eleven points, six boards for Noah in in Salt Lake City. That just doesn't tell the full story, though. No, no, no. Twenty three minutes. Yeah, just it probably give it. Gave, her, gave us He gives us a little confidence. There's no doubt he's like, uh, you know, he's an experienced guy, used to being uh, one of our leaders on the court. So, you know, when you're without one of those guys, you, you don't know how your team's going to respond. I thought we played pretty well at Colorado, to be honest. And, uh, and him coming back, it could screw you up, but it didn't. It made us, you know, he, he, he contributed in a big way. Well, you got a road split, right? So, Amen. You know, uh, you, well, we're, we're, th- we're two and one on the road in the league, right? Yeah, with three out of four have been on the road. Yeah. So that's it's really good, really good start. Any year you'll take that. Yeah. So let's, we've yeah. been a good road team. We've only played, I said, I told our team, we're a really good road team. We're terrible neutral. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 0 and 2 in neutrals. We're 3 and 1 on the road. Yeah. And played well. Like, you know, we played really well against Idaho. I don't care. It's eight miles away. We sure. played really well. We really played pretty well at Colorado, considering, you know, and, you know, being shorthanded. And then the other two, we. I mean, a 16-point win and a 22-point win on the road, those are just rare. They just don't happen. I, I know you like the Spokane Arena games, though. I, mean, I, I do. I'm, yeah. I was, I'm disappointed that we just couldn't. Uh, we had a lot of Coug fans there, man, that, especially the Boise game, and just wanted to deliver for them. But it was a nice turnout, and I think we get that done. We build some momentum and get people, you know, making the little 72-mile drive down here to, to get involved. And I think they will anyway. Yeah, you know, especially in league be, play. Yeah, But just for the, the – the, the Boise game was great, and, uh, you know, I get a lot of positives when uh, people are just just think we're doing a good job, and I'm like, I, I hope we can do better. Sure. But uh, the, the fans, and they're, they're pretty – I go up there a lot for AAU for the Rocco. There you go. So I see them, and yeah. I see them in the – whatever that little – there's a little gym there. You'll yeah. get there someday. Yeah, I'm working on it. You'll, you'll be yeah, there. We're a few years away. Yeah, yeah. so they've been really kind to us. and uh, That's awesome. You know, at least to my face. That's, I'm sure to your back, too. I have, I have no doubt. I have no doubt. All right, we're talking ball here with Coach Smith. Here's what we're going to do. we got some questions in hand. We may have some more floating gotcha, in. Gotcha. We may check out the, the, the Twitter verse. should we dare, yeah. see what questions exist. We also have uh, world-famous trivia, of course. Yeah. So we've got trivia. We've got the soup chat. We're live here talking ball with Coach Smith. We'll be right back live at Zephyrus. When you set up a savings goal with U.S. Bank, it grows with you. There's no limit to what you can crochet. I I mean, can do. Doesn't have to be crocheting, but it totally could be. Like the headphones you're listening to this ad with, you could totally crochet those. There's no telling where your savings goal will take you. Maybe you'll save enough for yarn to crochet your house or the whole town. Oh, right. Doesn't have to be crochet related. Set up savings goals on the U.S. Bank mobile app, even for the wildest of dreams. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender. Member FDIC. 
Spokane International Airport is a proud sponsor of Washington State University Athletics. The airport connects Cougar fans and alums to 22 major centers throughout the West with over 50 daily departures to 22 nonstop destinations served by AHA, Alaska Allegiant American Delta Frontier Southwest and United Airlines. Real-time arrival and departure flight information is available at www.spokaneairports.net. Spokane International Airport, when it's time to fly. Your home for Cougar basketball. Deep three buckets. Rise and a crush. Rise. The Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Hey, Coug fans, can't decide what to do with your late-night weekends? Why not Cosmic Bowling? Every Friday and Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. is Cosmic Bowling at Zeppo's. At a price designed with everyone in mind, we are your destination for music, disco lights, and, of course, bowling. Can't join us on the weekends? Zeppo's is the place to be for all ages every day of the week. With bowling, food, and drink specials, we offer prices that won't break the budget. You can even reserve your lane in advance with online reservations at Zeppo's.com. When looking for fun in Pullman, look no further than Zeppo's. Sports fans now have access to hundreds of weekly podcasts that zero in on the college sports world. Now available in the Varsity Podcast Network and part of the new Varsity app. The app is free and available from wherever you get your favorite apps. Download the Varsity app today to have access to hundreds of national podcasts as well as your favorite team-focused podcasts. The Varsity Podcast Network now available for free on the Varsity app. Download from the App Store and listen today. This is the U.S. Bank Cougar Coaches Show. Lots of the bucket and a two-handed skyscraper jam. Live from Zeppos with Cougar head coach Kyle Smith, here's the voice of the Cougs, Matt Chazanow. Back at it live here talking ball with Coach Smith. We're live at Zeppos. Great to see everybody. If you're listening or viewing, great to have you with us. A uh, couple of questions here, some write-ins. I think okay. we have a couple on uh, the old Twitter machine there as well. Uh, this we kind of touched on, why they schedule a game during workday, school hours. Very valid question. I, I uh, want everyone, they can log their complaints that they have to the, what's our guy's name, Kalafanov? Kleofkov. Kleofkov. Kleofkov? Yeah. Yeah. Him He's the commissioner of the, the pack. commissioner of the Pac-12. Yeah. So yeah. here's his. He's done a great job so far. His, uh, yeah. His, I believe his email is klofkoff at pac12.edu. So, <laughs> there you go. Uh, so sure we'll you fire appreciate, though, sure there's appreciate like, hey, that. Just ask him why the Cougs keep getting the, these funky times. Sure, he appreciates that. I, it is interesting that, that it's a 2 p.m. or, um, but it is great to get. You know, I think there. honestly, the reason I don't know, the reason is uh, trying not to give uh, Cal too big. Cal's gonna play tomorrow night at UW. Yeah. So if we play, it's just the rest time, and our game's one o'clock on Saturday. Oh, it was a TV deal. What am I talking it's about? It's got to be, right? It was a totally TV deal. TV deal, t- 2 p.m. There must be a 5 p.m. Yeah, Eastern there's some, slot. Yeah, there's something slot. Yeah, yeah. Is, it, is it ESPNU? Do you know what? what uh, it was Not probably, sure. It's probably on the notes. I bet, I bet Ben Lasky. I think it's ESPNU. I think, you know, I think there's a 5 p.m. It is ESPNU. I think there's a 5 p.m. Eastern ESPNU slot. Something I think, like I that. think that's that, your that answer. That was it. Actually, it, that is the reason. I think, <laughs> yeah. Scratch everything. It was, it's a TV that's deal. That's what it is. There you go. All right, so, what do you got? So what do you got? All right, who, who are some of the players that are poised? to take a step in their development, and what are the steps? Um, you know, I think the guys that have really been coming on lately is Andre. Uh, I think, uh, you know, he played really well against Boise before the break, and then he was in the protocol, so he missed a lot of practice and struggled against Colorado and then uh, played really well. against. But he's been coming on in practice, and for him, he missed six months with a groin surgery that, you know, he didn't get to – practice or anything. I want to pause you there for a second. I don't, fans didn't know that. Yeah. You know, last year he, he was battling through that, tried to play through it. Yeah. I, I think it's a little underrated how debilitating that is for yeah. this sport and uh, how he had to deal with it. Yeah, yeah. Groins are, for any sport really, especially you basketball, you can't, can't cut. move. You've got a, your core strength and your explosion that. So, you know, and, uh, we thought, it's one thing you know, like he missed six months. He didn't do anything in the fall until we started practicing. And so that's a little slow. And then uh, you know, you always say, it'll get better, it'll get better. But you don't know for sure. Like, it, just the confidence. But he's been uh, – because he works so hard. Him and Bamba are really just two guys that really work at it. And, and uh, it's neat to see him having that kind of success. And um, I think Muhammad, I talked about, like, his. he's got a great attitude, great work ethic. And he's a guy that's 
Um, like he had a good game last game, but it just those things have been showing up in practice, and they're usually a lag time, usually four to six weeks, where you see this guy, okay, hey, you know, we're just begging him to be more aggressive offensively, and um, you know, hopefully that that'll that'll start to flourish. Love it. All right, uh, Kyle asks us, what players had the most? So this is a little bit re- related, kind of similar. Okay. What players had the most growth since this summer? that media and fans might not acknowledge. Uh, well, this will probably sound funny to people, but Mike Flowers, huh. even though he's a grad transfer, I didn't anticipate him. Like, uh, you know, I was like, there's some holes as far as, like, defensively. You know, he's been in, you know, at South Alabama and in Western Michigan where he's been asked to score 20 a game. And it came in here. He's like, oops. Drop the phone. Yeah. And so uh, I was like, I had to pull him in right before the one break. I said, man, I love your attitude. Like, you're about us. but you got to really, really concentrate defensively if you're going to be able to really help us in the way we need to, or else you're going to end up being a guy that's like a scoring threat off the bench. How do you respond to that? Great. Mm. You know, and I said, we're on, we're on the clock. You got one year. I wish you had two, but you're on the clock. And he came back, and he did a great job in his conditioning, and he still was slow, slow. And then he just, he just, he's just like a guy that's got – he just keeps getting better and better and better. I think he's a big growth mindset, and he's kind of – uh, he sacrificed a little bit of his scoring, yeah. You know, like because um, he's really the best option for us to kind of as a floor general and best in the pe- pick and roll. He doesn't turn it over much. He's a big threat to score. And Ty was doing that for us a little bit and fine, but Ty's probably a little better running off screens a little quick and just takes a little stress off him. And Noah's at time been, and we still need Noah to go in the post and penetrate and make some plays too, but. Um, he's the one that's probably grown the most, and you would, you know, you think of the younger guys, but him making this jump, and he's and he's he's captain, you know, which is I didn't ever anticipate that to be the case either. But our guys, uh, they know. I mean, I just think he's a professional about how he goes about his business. He's a really good guy, and uh, it's unfortunate that people in Pullman don't get to, you know, only get one year with him. Right. You know? That's <laughs> the hard part about. And that. I was like, we're we're gonna see you back when you're done. With it. You know, it's like, he goes, Pullman's hard to get to. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I know. We'll get. You, we'll bring you back. Love but he, you know, he'll play professionally, and hopefully after this, and we'll get him back here. But he's been great. It's really interesting. Great. That is, it's unexpected. All right, Jennifer asks, um, what's the biggest strength and biggest growth area for your big men? And then, uh, if you have a rooting interest in a sporting event in general, do you always root for the underdog? So there's a, a two part question there. That's great. Uh, the biggest strength is our length and athleticism. Uh, and uh, with F.A., it's been a phys- – he's really come – but people's expectation for F.A. is really high. And I have to point out, I was like, you understand he's a much better player now than he was last year. Interesting. And it's just he's been limited in minutes with that. But he's yeah, – I think he's leading the conference in two-point field goal percentage. Wow. He's shooting around 80 from the line. He's a tremendous rebounder. He's a little down on his block shots. That's fine. Um, but he's 10 assists, 15 turnovers. I think he was 7 assists, 46 turnovers for the year last year. So – you know, I was like, what about F.A.? I'm like, he's doing well. We just need to get more minutes. Um, Deshaun's had a terrible luck with the injuries and stuff like that. And, um, you know, it might be a little bit of sophomore slump, too, in that. And, and, and he's our – gosh, we need to get him going because he's our low post. He's our best low post guy. And we Actually, we defensive rebound at a phenomenal rate when he's in the game, hmm. even though he's not necessarily grabbing everyone. But his 6'11", 255. Kind of a big weak Bay Area uh, kid, Bay Area guy. Cal's really big. No question. And Stanford. Stanford's even better or a better rebounding team. So hmm. um, that – and then Muhammad is getting more aggressive scoring. Uh, you know, in his growth, he's a really good defender, really unselfish guy and just needs to get, become more aggressive. So he's, and I think he's just – just be patient with him. He's going to be the guy that uh, people are really going to appreciate. So was, a little bit of what was the work? back half of that question? Oh, the underdog. Question. Are you an underdog oh, guy? Oh, I'm a big underdog guy. I grew yeah. up in Houston. I was a, unfortunately, a Houston Oilers fan growing yeah. up, and people don't even know the Oilers. The Oilers were, were cool, though. They were cool, but they got kicked around by the Steelers, man, every yeah. year. They were knocking at the door, and Earl Campbell's my guy. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Now, I don't think anybody has any hard feelings toward the Oilers here in the uh, <laughs> – No. In the, in no, the, no, no love it. Depressed. Everyone was, who's your football team? I – they, my, my staff finally made me, like, because I'm always, John's a big Patriots fan. I'm always flicking, I like, when they lose, I'm like. Yeah, good. Let him have it. Phelps, a huge Jets fan. Yeah. Oh, Shaw's a huge Phelps, Raiders fan. Phelps is tortured. He's oh, Shaw's tortured. 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 Yeah. And, and so they're like, hey, you got to pick a team. And I said, all right. My wife is diehard Niners fan. So I said, all right, I'm Niners guy. Why is she not Hawks? 
do you, do we know? Don't tell it. She, her dad was in the Bay Area. And oh, okay. She'd take her, right. to, took right. her to Niners games. Candlesticks? You went to Candlesticks? Yeah, didn't Candlesticks. She? Yeah. Okay. So she's, she's, right. she's a Joe, Joe Montana slash Steve Young guy. Hard not now. to lie. I get that. All right. And I'm the only Jimmy G. I'm, the, I'm one, one of one. I'm a Jimmy G fan. You're a Jimmy G guy. The huh? only, I mean, no one's more maligned than Jimmy G. Yeah. Well. I mean, first, a very handsome guy. Italian. Sure. Yeah. But he's 34 and 14 as a starter in the NFL, and everyone just wants to fire him. Uh, 34 and 14. It's true. Yeah. 34 and 14. Yeah, you're not wrong. His coach wants to fire him. His coach is like 6 and 20 without him. Yeah. He wants to fire him. He can't find his. I think I was like, Kyle Shanahan, you're, what are you doing? Yeah. And then I was so pumped because this last Sunday, he just down 17 and rallied. This so is I, good. I, I didn't realize this. Yeah, yeah. I now, really, I mean, I'm all in on Jimmy G. I'm excited. I'm going to. A one of one. No one, no one can claim him but me. Well, he's your guy, but I'm going to hammer you when they, if they lose. Uh, just, just fine. let you have it. 34 that 14. That sounds It'll great. be 34 love 15. It. I love it. I love it. I love it. Good luck. Who's your, what's your squad? <laughs> I grew up a Giants fan, so it's uh, been a little bit dicey. It's been a little bit dicey. Explain to me how Joe Judge survives. And he, does, he, got, he got let go. Oh, he did. Today. Okay. Yeah, right. he got let go today. Just yeah. uh, just as we were walking in, as we were walking in his epos. So right. they've we got have some. Else we yeah. We, well, we, here we got to do. Let's take a break. We'll do trivia. We'll take a break. We'll All come right. back. We'll do trivia. Oh, those we're live are questions. here. Oh, we're live here. We're yeah. We'll okay. do trivia next. Live here. Talking ball with Kyle Smith. Which would you rather be, an armchair quarterback, or an on the edge of your cushy leather seat chair quarterback? Turf Club Sportsbook is now open at Northern Quest, with the most modern, luxurious, and exciting sports wagering experience around. So you can bet, watch, and win like never before. Right here in the heart of the action. Turf Club Sportsbook, the ultimate game changer. Now open at Northern Quest. This is Cougar Basketball. Righty layup and the foul for Tyrell Roberts. Williams to the right bucket with a two-handed dunk. Join us all season as Kyle Smith and the Cougs look to make some noise in the Pac-12 and beyond. Rises up, rejected by Bamba. Flowers in the corner, triggers the three on the break. Bullseye. Down low gate, turn around and a handle. It's only on your home for Cougar Basketball, the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. This is Cougar Basketball from Learfield. Woo! Got my nachos, got my big TV, and my favorite chair. It's game time. But you know, the only thing that would make it a little better is if I could listen to my local broadcasters while watching the game. Oh, hello. You must have wished for your game to be synced with TV and radio. I sure did. Do you have a DVR? You bet. Do you have a streaming device? (laughs) Yeah. Blammo. Your game is now synced. It's that easy. Oh, boy. To see if you can get synced, head to SyncMyGame.com from Learfield. SyncMyGame.com? SyncMyGame.com. It's a new season. Get ready for more men's and women's college sports excellence. Trophies will be awarded in June to schools who take the top spot in the 2021-22 Learfield Directors Cup. The premier award recognizes one winning institution in all competitive divisions. Follow your favorite team's progress as seasonal standings are announced at L Directors Cup on Twitter and online at directorscup.org. The crowning achievement in college athletics. You're listening to the U.S. Bank Cougar Coaches Show on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. He's three, way beyond the arc in Kansas. With Coach Smith, here's Matt Chazanow. Back at it live here talking ball at Zeppos with Coach Smith. It is that time of the week. We've got a Tuesday, uh, sorry, we have a Tuesday show. We have a Thursday 2 p.m. tip. We have a Saturday 1 p.m. tip, so a couple of, of uh, matinees, 2 p.m., 1 p.m. Golden State Warriors are on TV right now, nice. which, which means Clay Thompson. Is on TV at some point. I don't think he's in the game this moment. Is that him on the baseline? Uh, I don't no, think so. Yeah, yeah I think that's step. All right, hey, uh, it's time for trivia. It's time for trivia. Luke, fire the music up. Let's get right to it. All right, here we go. Very intense. We're getting new music. This new year. music. Huh? We fired. We updated the music. Can you feel the intensity? Are you starting to sweat? Because it's the stress. Just it just. We really tighten the vice grip I, here. I feel good. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Question number one. Clay Thompson. Just returned from a knee injury. He's been top five in three-point makes in a season five times in his career. Unofficially, there have been 798 buzzer beaters ever 
in the NBA. Ever, like zero seconds on the clock, okay? Clay Thompson assisted one of them. Who hit the shot? And as a bonus and a hint. Was it postseason? I don't know the answer to that. As a bonus and a hint, which pack team did this player play for? Oh, well, that's easy. I got it. Well? Do I have to tell you? The part? I thought it was so obvious I didn't have to. You it's, it was. Uh, if you know it, let the let everybody hear it. Let everybody it was, hear it, it coach. It was, it was Iguodala. That's correct. That's correct. Uh, it's really it good. Was, it was That's easy. correct. That's correct. Luke, fire Luke. There it is. Yep. Give, one for one. Credit. Give credit where credit's due. Which team? I mean, you know. Who do we hit it against? What do you mean? No, no. Oh, Arizona. Yeah, Arizona. Right. Arizona. Arizona. Andre Iguodala. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Correct. Thank you, Luke. Oh, I have to get both parts. I guess. I'm just saying. You're, you know. You're, you're, I'm all right, Wally. Well, I'm just hey, listen. <laughs> fire the music. Fire the music. We don't need that. Fire it up. Here we go. All right. Question two. You may know the Cougs just won at Utah for the first time since 1946. I've heard that. First win in Huntsman ever. Just yeah, so you know. It, wasn't ex- it didn't exist in 1946. That's true. That's correct. But that's also, yeah. that's also a fact. Gotcha. Gotcha. Jack Friel won at Utah in 1946. Coach Friel did. By a final score of a game played in, you have three options. Was the game played in the 30s? Was the game, not in the 1930s. Gotcha, in the, gotcha. Was the score of the game. In the 30s, the 40s, or the 50s. I was going to say the teens. It was not the teens. So uh, I'll go 30s. That's correct. That is correct. Luke, Luke, fire him up. He's two for two. What a a start here for Coach Smith. What a start here for Coach Smith trivia. All right, here we go. Thank you, Luke. Question number three. And this is, if you get this right, as the math goes, you have a winning percentage in trivia here today. Ken Palm calculates pace of play. So that's that's one of the statistics. And by that, we mean... Uh, how many possessions you get in a ball game, how fast you play. Which team is the slowest? Not, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. What's the slowest pace to play in the pack? Who's the oh. slowest pace team in the pack this year? Oh, I got this. It's USC. Uh, incorrect. What? Give me an X. Give me an X. Give me, what? Give me an X. Give me an X. Wait, I, I might have gone quick on that. Give me an what? X. Give me an X. Hold on, hold on, it's, hold it's, on. It's, it's a little more obvious than that, to be honest. Uh, you, you can, it's a little more. It's, uh, it, wait, hold think, on. It's Cal or yes, it's Cal. Cal. It's Cal. Yeah, it's Cal. SC is slow. SC, SC was one of them. SC was down there. Uh, Cal is the slowest this year. Wow. And, and that's relevant because Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. Like, Stanford's not exactly up and down the floor they, either. And I, they, that was one of them also. So no, pace no, of play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were in the you were in a bright ballpark. I was just – I noticed that SC was down there. And I just – like yeah. shockingly when they were – and they do play that way. They don't turn you over. I wonder if it's skewed a little bit also from some non-con stuff. You know, you, they played some of these. They got up there in the they 90s. Yeah, they know. did. They had a couple games. Yeah. Someone, no, it was a league game that tried to run with them. It was uh, – I don't know. Someone in the league tried to run – like, and they just – they tried to play small against them, and that was bad. I was watching Cal UCLA. Yeah. Slow, slow. Like, yeah, Cal okay. was at 30, 25 seconds of possession. Like, they, let's they, settle they, in. They, can, yeah. they will grind you. Yeah. No doubt. Big. No doubt. All right. Uh, question four coming up. Luke, fire the music. Okay, here we go. Feel it. You can feel it. You know, it kind of kind of gets you. Tyrell Roberts. Yes. No. Hit 25 straight free throws to start his Coug career. Passed Clay Thompson with that number, by the way. Nice. Program record overall is 31 consecutive makes. Two players have done that. Wow. One of them was pretty recent. Okay. Relatively recently. What do you say relatively? What do you mean? Just Last before decade. you. Okay. How about that? Just before you. Do you know who that player was? And let me put it this way as a hint. <laughs> I don't need hints, but go ahead. You know who that player was. I'll put it that way. What do you mean I know who that You know who he was. You know, you, know, you, know the, you, know the, you know the kid. Like I know him personally? Maybe. <laughs> it's, poss- it's, it's possible. Probably knows dad. It's not Noah. It's not Noah. <laughs> not, not that. Not that close of a no, relation. Wait, Maybe it is, but it's not. But no, it's not Noah. Who, whose dad do I know? Well, you've got to think about it for a second. I'm, I'm at a loss. Right. Josh Hawkinson, fire, ah, fire the belt. Fire the belt. Terrible. Fire the belt. Terrible. Josh right, Hawkinson, Nels, Nels Hawkins. Uh, I know you know yeah, Nels. Everybody yeah, knows me. Nels. Fire me. You're right. <laughs> I know Nels. That's right. Uh, the, he ta- now he tied a Coug, Thomas Kalati. Who yeah, who cool. years ago also hit 31 straight free throws? That's, that's impressive. The, that's I was the thinking Rochesti and Low, but yeah, no, it was more more recent. Guys. Yeah, Hawk was a really good free throw shooter and scored a ton oh, of points from the yeah. line. No, no, scored a ton of points. And question five, as is um, tradition, has absolutely nothing to do with anything at all. 
And uh, the question is, which mammal has no vocal cords? Wow. There's a mammal on Earth that has no vocal cords. They would struggle with this job and, and this setting. They would have a hard time with that. A mammal with no vocal cords. There's, there's a mammal. And, it, and if you think about it, it, it makes logistical gonna, sense. It makes well, biological sense. Sure, I'm trying to think that. But, uh, they obviously can't make much noise. I mean, nah, nah, I'm going aardvark. It's a great guess. It's a very valid guess. You're probably in the right continent. Maybe if that's a, if, uh, you on make, the right continent? Yeah, I think so. I think. I don't... I'm done. All right, giraffe. 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 That's no vocal cords. No vocal cords no, on a giraffe. And, if, and, then if you, and then for a second, you go, wait, that's weird. And then you realize... Yeah, they're pretty long. Long necks. Yeah, long you know, it doesn't, necks. Does, does, do just, they make noises? I don't even know the answer to that. I've oh, never you heard... You can't ask a question if you don't know that answer. Well, I know they don't have vocal cords. I don't, I don't uh, know if they don't make any I mean, noises. That's part of the deal. I don't, <laughs> how would you not... Maybe it's like, how do you research that, though? Yeah. And, and, and could it be even be recorded? Like, how do you... Because it's in absence. I don't know. It's interesting. Not, and I don't think... That's not used as a mascot anywhere, either. I don't think anybody's the giraffes. And they're very quiet. Be a quiet arena. If you're gonna him. All right. Well, you, there we go. Toys R Us using. That's true. That's true. It's it's Toys R Us gone though, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. No, that was my that was my spot. Yeah, that was pretty cool. It was great. Kid. Yeah, it was great. It was definitely. It was great. Love it. All right, we'll take a break. Come back. We'll talk ball here with Coach Smith live at Zeppos. That to do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog, because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2020 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Spokane International Airport is a proud sponsor of Washington State University Athletics. The airport connects Cougar fans and alums to 22 major centers throughout the West with over 50 daily departures to 22 nonstop destinations served by AHA, Alaska Allegiant American Delta Frontier Southwest and United Airlines. Real-time arrival and departure flight information is available at www.spokaneairports.net. Spokane International Airport, when it's time to fly. Back after this local timeout on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. When you set up a savings goal with U.S. Bank, it grows with you. There's no limit to what you can crochet. I, I mean, can do. Doesn't have to be crocheting, but it totally could be. Like the headphones you're listening to this ad with, you could totally crochet those. There's no telling where your savings goal will take you. Maybe you'll save enough for yarn to crochet your house or the whole town. Oh, right. Doesn't have to be crochet related. Set up savings goals on the U.S. Bank mobile app, even for the wildest of dreams. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. College sports fans now have access to hundreds of weekly podcasts that zero in on the college sports world. Now available in the Varsity Podcast Network and part of the new Varsity app. The app is free and available from wherever you get your favorite apps. Download the Varsity app today to have access to hundreds of national podcasts as well as your favorite team-focused podcasts. The Varsity Podcast Network, now available for free on the Varsity app. Download from the App Store and listen today. a question for coach smith send a tweet with your thoughts to matt chasenow using the handle at m underscore chaz that's m underscore c-h-a-z now back to zeppos i got a live here talking ball with kyle smith coach smith as we get set for the i got a, I got a trivia question for you oh please talk to anyway. me Later, do we go music do we do the whole deal no all right that's fine let's go what you got you're a football guy right i try to this be. is from the chat the soup i try to be okay Cincinnati has not won a playoff game in 31 years. I, I know that. I actually, okay, I'm with you. The, ba- the Bengals. The Bengals. Yeah, the Bengals. Yeah. What team has the second longest streak in how many years? Oh, boy. A second longest second longest drought in yep. the NFL playoff uh, his, history. Yep. Now, there's a trick to this. I wonder if it preceded the Bengals somehow, and that's the trick, if, it, if it's actually – uh, I don't think you're out. You might be out thinking yourself. Okay. All right. Um, maybe the team doesn't exist anymore, and they are in Tennessee. Possibly, they're your team. Maybe. 
But um, that's the same franchise, so I don't think that doesn't would count. Qualify. Doesn't count. Okay, thirty something years of drought. It's not the Jets. Um, Derek no, Fe- no. Phelps is happy about that. No, they were in the AFC Championship not that long ago. Vinny Testaverde, I believe. No, it was it Sanchez? Pass? Oh, of course, of course. Right, right. Um, great point. Rex Ryan. Got that's great. Nice. That's Pete great. Belichick in the playoffs. That's right. That's right. Gosh. All right. Uh, okay. Um, it's not the Jaguars. I know it's not. It's uh, it's not Carolina. It's pretty obvious. Is it? It's pretty obvious. For any sports fan, if you're in that line of industry oh, wow. or that work, wow. you're a sports really? broadcaster let, let or something like that, I think it would be pretty obvious. Letting me have it. Uh, no, I just coach basketball. I'm str- I'm str- I don't, I can't, it's not Do you cover any other sports besides basketball? It can't be the Texans. No, it's not the Texans. They haven't be been the, around that long. Right, because that doesn't care, wouldn't really count. It's very, very very obvious. Really? We'll move on. Let's go. Oh, well, come on. Let's... I need an answer now. Are you serious? You don't have a guess? I just, I mean, I just guessed incorrectly twice in fairness. Uh, it's, uh, come what, on, man. Cardinal Steelers. Who's, uh, who's one of the worst teams in the NFL currently? Well, the Jags are terrible, but it's not. You're the close. Team. You're red hot. The, is it the Finns? No. Is it the Dolphins? Not, not geographically mm. close. Oh, oh, I just got X'd. Lions. Just, oh, of course. God, of course. <laughs> of co- I, knew th- yeah, I, even, come on. I knew that. Come on. All right, I knew move that. On, move on. What do you got? I, get, I knew uh, I, I interrupted I, I, you. I'm right. embarrassed. I'm yeah, embarrassed. Yeah. Gosh, was it Charlie Batch? It wasn't Charlie Batch. It's, it was 29 years ago. It might have been Scott Mitchell. It might have been Scott Mitchell, who's the analyst Lefty. for Utah. Is he? Yeah, he's Utah's radio analyst who, play, who ran the run and shoot. Yeah, I got to think Barry was there. It might have won one. I think Barry won one. I think you're right. I think that's what. Without it a word, lined up 29 years Isn't ago. Isn't that amazing? It's a little scary. That's a little. Yeah, I feel wild. old because Barry was the man. That's cool. So I did the MAC title game years ago. I did the MAC title game at Ford Field, and their their engineer did the old Pontiac Silverdome game. Said yep. that place was elect. Said it was just oh. 88,000 just, just a lot. Watching the guy run around, just awesome. Yeah, I'm really embarrassed. John, probably Johnny Morton, Herman Moore, and I feel bad about myself. That's Schlesinger. All right, move on. Schlesinger. All right, move on. All right. You, you, you can't rally. Triple from that. I missed. I buried, I buried myself. A triple OT last year against Stanford. Uh, I'm triple really overtime. Crazy game. Triple overtime hadn't happened since '82, I believe. Uh, wow. 1982. Um, 85, 76. Unforgettable all time Noah Williams performance. All t- 40, 40 plus points, right? 40 even. All t- 40 points just does not happen very often I, in I college. I think he was really close to triple double. I think it was like. 40, if you look at this, I think, 40, I think he made nine threes. Amazing. Ten turnovers. No, no. I'm pretty Is that sure, right? I'm yeah, pretty ten, sure he had ten, ten turnovers. Turn. We, were, we were out of guards. We, it was Noah and Andre were in the backcourt and Rodman. It was, it was wild, and we, they did a great job and found a way to get it done. First kook since Clay Thompson hit 40 against an opponent. Just it's phenomenal. Yeah, and yeah. also had 32 against Cal. Yeah, he had a good weekend. A really, really yeah. good no, we weekend. we need another one of those. Yeah, didn't have Bontown that weekend, and then no. Noah came in and went for 72, 72 points. We didn't have, I don't think we had rap either. We, we I think were, you're right. I think it, it was, was like little no guards. We were thin on guards. Yeah. We were just out there. All right, we'll take a break. Come back. Last break. Final, uh, final segment next. Hey, Kook fans, can't decide what to do with your late-night weekends? Why not Cosmic Bowling? Every Friday and Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. is Cosmic Bowling at Zeppo's. At a price designed with everyone in mind, we are your destination for music, disco lights, and, of course, bowling. Can't join us on the weekends? Zeppo's is the place to be for all ages every day of the week. With bowling, food, and drink specials, we offer prices that won't break the budget. You can even reserve your lane in advance with online reservations at Zeppo's.com. When looking for fun in Pullman, look no further than Zeppo's. Which would you rather be? An armchair quarterback? Or an on the edge of your cushy leather seat chair quarterback? Turf Club Sportsbook is now open at Northern Quest. With the most modern, luxurious, and exciting sports wagering experience around. So you can bet, watch, and win like never before. Right here in the heart of the action. Turf Club Sportsbook, the ultimate game changer. Now open at Northern Quest. This is the U.S. Bank Cougar Coaches Show on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Woo! Got my nachos, got my big TV, and my favorite chair. It's game time. But you know, the only thing that would make it a little better is if I could listen to my local broadcasters while watching the game. Oh, hello. You must have wished for your game to be synced with TV and radio. I sure did. Do you have a DVR? You bet. Do you have a streaming device? Yeah. Blammo. Your game is now synced. It's that easy. Oh, boy. To see if you can get synced, head to SyncMyGame.com from Learfield. SyncMyGame.com? SyncMyGame.com. 
This is Cougar Basketball. Righty layup and the foul for Tyrell Roberts. Williams to the right bucket with a two-handed dunk. Join us all season as Kyle Smith and the Cougs look to make some noise in the Pac-12 and beyond. Rises up, rejected by Bamba. Flowers in the corner, triggers the three on the break. Bullseye! Down low gate, turn around and a hammer. It's only on your home for Cougar Basketball, the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Welcome back to the show. Time now to look ahead at this week's game with the Coors Light Opponent Preview. Coors Light, mountain cold refreshment made to chill. Jack, I did live here at Zeppos when we hear the music. we got 60 seconds left. Uh, Coach Smith is analyzing some of the officiating in the game in Boulder as it's on TV here at Zeppos. Uh, there was a little Euro step. Yeah, that's yeah, tough. That's, that's tough. tough. That's tough. Coach, thank you for this. This is no great problem, fun. Right? Great Always to be pleasure. back. Thanks to everybody here. Great to see everybody. Thanks for those listening. Like Michelle Tafoya's, where you get like a week off every. I I do, I not volunteer not I not by uh, choice not by cho- I hope not I hope to never take a week off right. again for the rest of my life. Right. Hey, huge thanks to Jared Prengoober, who's the man behind the camera. Jerry Kylo gets us on the air as always. Luke Hallett back in studio, doing a great job. Uh, One thirty Thursday airtime, two o'clock tip. Cougs against Stanford coming up. Big game Thursday. They all are. Yeah. They all are. Excited. All right. Home. Home game. Can't nice. Wait. Can't wait. Thank fun. you, Coach. Go, Cougs. Thanks, guys. Go Cougs.